What's up guys? What's going on? Welcome to another episode of Blackwater. Today we're going to do an awesome little video. It's a new video that we haven't done yet before. It's a challenge video and the challenge is on jackrabbits. Let's do it. Sky and I decided on a point system. We're going to do a point per ounce of measurement from tip of the nose to tip of the tail. Get a point for each inch and then uh, going to do a time limit. So first person to get back with their jackrabbit uh, gets an extra five points added to their score. But first I got to go in here and find something to get these jackrabbits with. There's Here's the competition. What should be my weapon of choice? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go pellet gun. I'm not good enough with a bow. T-Bone says go with ammo. I'm deciding between Daisy, we got 800 feet per second, or we got this Crossman Legacy, we get 1,000 feet per second. Hard choice. I'm feeling this right here. I can get these. Red fires with the precision tip, pest control, and recreation. All right, lots of choices here. I think accuracy is going to be more important than anything. Got to match the bullets to the gun. <laughs> Some targets. The green ones. Yeah, that'll be good. All right, we're all set. I feel like Sky went a little over budget. First of all, I did not go over budget because we didn't set a budget on this competition. Second of all, Blackwater paid for everything, so there was no budget. <laughs> Lastly, this guy and this ranger apparently wants to fight a little bit because he keeps sniffing our butts. There's an old lady. We'll fight her too. Gamo for the win. And the daisy for the daisy. It's all over but crying. Jancy just admitted he will be crying later. <laughs> Let's go kill a rabbit! All right, I went with the uh, Daisy 880S. 880, Anyways, a little bit cheaper, but uh, what Sky doesn't realize is how much more accuracy you get out of uh, something that the barrel doesn't break on because it kind of distorts the, uh, it's not the same every time, so my grouping's gonna be a lot tighter. All right, we got the Gamo. Flip this bad boy over. Hundred and seventy-seven cal. Oh my gosh, she's sexy. Oh, look at that! It even even comes with a. It starts with an S, but you can't say it on YouTube. But it makes stuff quiet. Oh my word. 1,250 feet per second. Break over. Hear what Jancy says. Got enough horsepower to. Oh! <laughs> Poor rabbits. Poor Jancy. Let me see if we can get the scope sighted in. Uh, get a little bit closer. Can't even get on paper with his daisy. Ten feet away, man. At 10 yards. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Time to see what the old gamo can do since the daisy can't touch the paper. Well, after some minor adjustments, the gamo is on target. I remember Jancy saying that a breakover pellet gun was not accurate. This is him still sighting in his pump rifle with the old with the old straight barrel. Forty forty four shots later, he's on paper. He's gonna be so wore out from pumping by the time we get to go rabbit hunting. He ain't even gonna be able to walk. Oh, two pump jump, boys! This might be as bad as Alabama versus. I don't know. Louisiana, Monroe. Tennessee. Kansas, maybe. All right, y'all probably can't see this right now, but I just snuck around the corner and caught Jancy cheating in the competition. He, he went over there and got my buddy's son 
to switch him scopes off of his high powered pellet rifle so that his would be more accurate. That should be a demerit, what do y'all think? I'm thinking five point deduction automatically for being a cheater pants. I mean, that's just, that's what should happen. I can't believe a guy I spent that much time with would, would stoop that low in a competition between men of honor. I'm gonna sneak around there and get some video just so I can prove to y'all that he is actually cheating. My man Fish right here, he let me borrow the scope off his pellet gun because I couldn't get mine to freaking dial in for nothing. So uh, anyways, I throw the scope on. And as you can see, there's Sky's five shot group. There's my five shot group. He's in trouble. do this I'll see the competition up ahead he's here 10 minutes early must mean he's taking this pretty serious he's making some dumb video right now I can tell not gonna be the last time I wait on him what's up lady boy God, you're chugging so much taller than I really do feel like a little kid great rock remember the rule I remember the rule you gotta screenshot your time you kill the rabbit not racing okay it's not racing back to here yeah but you still gotta screenshot it okay when you get back to here you screenshot it. yeah okay no you gotta screenshot it when you kill it okay time kill time, time kill. kill all right right time killed not uh tear up two new trucks trying to race back to the <laughs> ranch and then jancy say he needs to pay increase to fix his truck Screw. you mark turned around get set go literally just left me in a cloud of dust in that little taco truck. I see these things all the time when I'm driving around, but I hope one stick out like a sore thumb pretty quick because I know that little fart over there is going to... As, as fast as he took off, I know he's got a little honey hole that he knows where there's a freaking jackrabbit at. So we got to find one, boys. We got to find a jackrabbit. I don't know which way Sky going. He's probably going to go to the uh, pipeline. There's a lot of jackrabbits over there, but I know where the big ones live. I had hunters with me yesterday over here by the air airstrip, what we call the airstrip. And uh, there was two rabbits trying to breed and another one <clears throat> that was trying to get in on the action. So I'm gonna sneak up over here and uh, hopefully Got this in the bag. Sky might have the nicer gun and some of those poly tip pellets and he's even got a cute little silencer on the end of his gun but what he lacks is skill. That's how we're gonna beat him. Skill. Awesome. Dad gonna take the paddle sticking up off the side of the road. And I'm driving right into the sun like a moron. I'm shooting myself in the foot right now, and I'm already committed. I can't turn around until I get up to the top here. It's pretty good jackrabbit territory. I see big ones out here all the time. Oh baby. There we go. That's what we're looking for right there. Now to put on the stock. Big boy, big boy shot in the head, so he's still kicking. All right, we got a big jackrabbit down. I know we got Sky on the time. That was quick. We definitely got the extra five points, and I think we'll uh, score pretty high on the weight measurement too.
Y'all ain't gonna believe this. Let me show you what just happened. 7.33, we ain't been out of here 25 minutes, and that little son of a gun has already got a jackrabbit down. So he's already ahead five points, but the good thing is, it looked like a real small jack. So now we gotta go for a king jack. We gotta find one of them three that I saw yesterday, because uh, we are way behind the eight ball already. All right, cruising back with the cargo. This guy's gonna already be a little behind. He better shoot a big one if he wants to win. Y'all leave in the comments if y'all think Jancy already had that rabbit tied up somewhere. That was extremely fast. Oh, you guys that hunted with us, y'all know how he is. He, he probably had that thing baited up, tied up in a little rabbit cage already somewhere, foot snare or something like that. He done tried to cheat us once. If he wouldn't have had that scope that Fish gave him, He'd have missed that rabbit. No way he could have hit him. There she is. Now we just gotta sit in the shade and wait for Sky to show up. Jackrabbit right here. Jackrabbit right here. Right here. Where did I put my freaking stuff? Where All right, y'all, so here's the deal. I just told Jancy that I missed that rabbit six times. He replied back, do I need to borrow his gun? And I told him, I think he sabotaged my gun when he went down there to cheat, put the new scope on his, and I was upstairs, and he writes me back, LOL with the devil face. So. Y'all know exactly what happened. He got in there and cranked on my scope a little bit. And now there ain't no telling where that joker's hitting. Well, I'm gonna have to get real close and not even use that scope. We'll just look around it and try to, try to get one without using that scope. I knew he was gonna do something like that. I, I, I told y'all from the beginning he was gonna do something like that. Well, I don't know what Sky's doing. And I've been waiting here for a while. Probably gonna show up with a lizard or something. Just found a skunk. Maybe it's time for a practice round. See how this goes. Well, boys, we got a skunk. This ain't gonna taste good at all. <laughs> this is gonna be horrible, horrible, and I'm definitely gonna lose the competition. But we finally got something. I'm gonna throw him in the bed of the truck and hope I find a rabbit between now and dark. Cause if not, he's skunk for dinner, baby. And he ain't smelling too hot. You guys have no idea how bad my truck smells right now. <laughs> oh, this might be the dumbest thing I've ever done, but if I gotta eat a skunk, I gotta eat a skunk. One last chance at a jackrabbit, baby. One last chance at a jackrabbit. Come on, baby. Come on. No way, I did it, boy. I freaking did it, boy. He's trying to hold, huh? Got it done. I got a big one. He's called me the comeback kid, baby. Look at this monster. King Jack. That was my longest shot of the day. And he wasn't even broadside or anything. He was facing away from me trying to head off. I fired one off and just smoked him, man. He jumped up and tried to run off. And I, that's why I'm so out of breath. I got out of the truck and just chased him down and finished him off completely. But we're back in the competition, baby. Let's go measure him up and see if Jancy's gonna be the one that ends up having to buy dinner in New Orleans next week. Woo! Well, this guy's finally showing back up. He just called me. I don't think he's got a jackrabbit. Sounds like he got something else. He didn't tell me what he got, but he's on his way. We'll find out shortly. Well, did you finally get a pellet in something? I did. Oh my God, I can smell it, dude. <laughs> 
Jesus. <laughs> we ain't going hungry tonight, baby. I'm not measuring that thing or weighing it. Lord. What? You don't like my skunk? I don't like the skunk, man. Not a jackrabbit, that's for sure. That's not in the rabbit family? <laughs> what about this, son? What about that? <laughs> no way. Whoa! That's a king jack. Damn, winner, winner, man, chicken that dinner. That is a big bastard. I told y'all Jancy was going to buy dinner in New Orleans. I missed him two times. The problem was coming back up the runway just, just to come back All up right. here. And uh, he was... He ran across the road and he was at like 25 yards. So I shot at him, broadside, missed. He ran closer to the truck and he was like 15 yards, broadside. <laughs> Put it on him, boom, shoot at him, miss. That time he really takes off running. I jacked another shell in. He was probably 50 yards and I lobbed a Hail Mary out there. Spined him right in the top of the oh, back no while he was going away from me. He went down, dude, I jumped out of the truck and sprinted over there to him and, and got him. I was so pumped, man. I've never been, that's the most pump I've been about an animal in freaking years. I only thought you had a big rabbit, buddy. Look at old King Kong. Uh-oh. All right, so Jancy's already got five points on me because he cheated and had his tied up and shot it at 7.33. Dude, I'm talking like I was out there for 10 minutes. Right off maybe. the bat, Andy sabotaged my gun. Y'all know that. <laughs> so I got to... I gotta go, like I said earlier, I gotta, I gotta gain five points somehow, so we're about to see what happens. Zero down. Dude, it's seven pounds, I freaking called it. Seven four. Seven four. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. They're gonna be tough to beat, man. Oh no. That's looking bad, man. Oh no. 5'9? Ooh. Better hope it's long. Guys, this is this is looking bad for the comeback kid. Once again, I'm gonna be buying dinner. Call that 24. Yeah. 24 inches. Gonna need a lot of inches right here. I don't see it happening. He's got a long nose, man. Don't don't short me on that. Oh no. If we stretch the tail, you can get 22. <laughs> That's a bad one, man. That's called a old down home ass whooping. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we're gonna clean these things up real quick. Although Jancy obviously whipped me, we're still gonna share a little jackrabbit rabbit secret with you guys and something you can try at home and y'all ought to all enjoy it. All right, guys, so Jancy got these cleaned up real nice for us. We got the hind quarters here, the back straps, and these are the little loins that the jackrabbit has. Uh, we didn't take the front shoulders. There's not a lot of meat on the front shoulders. But <clears throat> jackrabbit in general is a pretty tough meat. So what we suggest everybody doing is to take the meat that you're going to use, put it in a bowl, and then add coke to it. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna break down everything inside the meat. That'll help tenderize it quite a bit. Make sure they all get down in there. What we'll do now is we'll put this in the fridge and we're going to leave it overnight. Let all that stuff work its way out overnight. And in the morning, uh, we're going to run to Rock Springs and uh, get some cream, um, some flour, and some biscuits. And we're going to show you guys how to make an awesome biscuit and rabbit gravy. That's going to do it for tonight. We'll catch you out at the grocery store in the morning. do it for uh, this episode of Blackwater. Um, I wish I could say it was a, a close one, but we all know it wasn't. Next time we're going to be in Louisiana though, so I'll see y'all then.